Oh. Good morning, Mr. Bo Schneider. Here's your messages. I have asked each of them to come up with some brilliant ideas for the sales meeting. Oh, well, how long could that take? <laughs> That was my idea. Did I get credit? Oh, oh good, morning, good morning, sir. Uh, how about a donut, Mr. F? Could we all settle down and bring the meeting to order? Mr. Froschneider, sir, may I compliment your choice of jacket and tie today? Earth tone certainly. D yes, sir. Anyway, sir, picture this. We open with a 600-seat string orchestra playing the Froschneider Foods jingle. Oh, boy, that's going to cost a lot of money. You appear, sir, on a platform 50 feet above the audience, and you appear in a puff of white smoke. Oh, that's a lot more money, too. <sighs> we then release 10,000 doves over the audience. Oh, big bucks, big bucks. E excuse me, but did somebody say something? Oh, yes, I was just saying that uh, it would cost a lot of money, and it doesn't really address the issues we face. Well, thank you, McDonald, but I believe that... I it's all yours. Sir, it's true that I'm just an accountant. Uh, but, but, uh, 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 need I remind you of uh, uh, budgetary constraints in place because of Froschneider Foods' poor performance during the last quarter, uh, due primarily to our failed new product launch? Uh, that would be, of course, the, uh, oh yes, the refried beans on a stick. Oh, dear. It tested well. <laughs> Thank you for your input, McDonald, but I believe I should take over here, and I would like to remind everybody that this is indeed a creative meeting, not a budget meeting. And sir, as the creative director, I have some smashing ideas you know, that I think maybe, I... just maybe McDonald has a point. I mean, what message does this convey to our sales reps? That we're spending mega bucks on sales meetings? The wrong message. Right. We have issues on the table that have to be dealt with. We need a concept that's going to hold this meeting together. So do you have a better idea, Mr. Naysayer? Well, yes. Well, come on, McDonald. Tell us. All right. I'm proposing a cost-effective solution that will address issues, provide entertainment value, and underscore the central message of the meeting. Comedy. Comedy? Corporate comedy. Corporate comedy? Now there is an oxymoron. The JMP Comedy Corps. <laughs> These guys not only entertain, but they, they also communicate using humor. Now we could address just about any concern the audience has, uh, like downsizing or uh, going into new markets, uh, our recent acquisition. Now these people offer solutions. Yes, and could you offer perhaps an example? Yeah, an example. Uh, an example, yes. Uh, all right, the Rome Company. They were getting all these complaints from their customers that their way of doing business was confusing. But you're not so, my sales rep. Nope, nope. I'm your installation tech. So, the Comedy Corps did this sketch where a phone system installer is attempting to explain Rome's complex organizational structure to a bewildered customer. Well, there you go. Well, well wait a minute. That's it? Aren't you going to show me how to use it? Me? <laughs> no, no, no can do. Sorry. Oh, well, wait, wait, wait. How can you install it if you don't know how to use it? Oh, I know how to use it. I just can't show you how. That's the, uh, that's the trainer's job. Well, 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 wait. So I'll see you again when my system needs servicing? Uh, no, that's the SE's job. Well, wait, 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 wait. You mean you're not coming back? No. Oh. No, you will never see me again. Ever. You know, Rome has actually got a proud heritage. They're a terrific offspring of two great companies. Oh, which ones? Let me explain it to you. Okay. IBM's a partner of Siemens. Siemens co-owns Rome Company. Rome Company sells you the hardware, and that's a place called Rome. Well, what about software? Do they also make software? Well, there are so many different Rome people well, a customer doing? has to deal with, and it's a little confusing. Another confused customer, eh? Dem phones, dem phones, dem. Roll phones, dem phones, dem phones, dem. Roll phones, dem phones, dem phones, dem. Roll phones, and that's a place called Rome. So they raised the issue, and then their execs came out and addressed the solution? Exactly. <laughs> I had no idea you were such a joke meister, McDonald. <laughs> I'm not a joke meister, Waterby. <laughs> Far from it. I'm 
accountant. And while I happen to like their smart, sophisticated humor, and uh, while I like the fact that this concept is, well, it's warmer and more personal than some light show, I love the value they represent. Okay, what can they do to hold the meeting together? Well, they, they can create sketches based not only on issues, but our people and departments. Oh, and speaker introductions, meeting openers. <laughs> you should see this piece they did for American Express. Just on my way back from a tour of their facility in Phoenix. Yeah, me too, and I feel like hell. <laughs> you know, partying until all hours of the night. Hey. Ron, Ron Jones. <laughs> you got it. Boy, you know, I didn't know that's what he meant when he wanted me to check out their barcode system. Mm. <laughs> the problem facing their sales force was that marketing was not delivering what the customers wanted. So, what song made perfect sense? I saw my account guy at reception. Rich Zimborski at his side. I asked him about a new invention. Results? <laughs> I think these audience surveys from Rome and Amex meetings say it all. Corporate comedy was the most appreciated aspect of both meetings. Oh, but comedy? After the quarter we had? <laughs> well, that's the point. I mean, humor can have a very positive effect. It gets to the truth. Well, uh, comedy is a serious business. Okay, but, but what are their qualifications? These actors have worked on movies and, and dozens of TV shows like uh, Murphy Brown and Night Court, Golden Girls, and hundreds of national TV commercials. You know, I was reading in the Inquirer where actors do weird things like frolic in hotel lobby fountains with... <laughs> no, no, no. These people are pros. They've done hundreds of corporate shows. And JMP is the leader in corporate communications and has been for 50 years. As for the actors, they know how to work with corporate types. You could say they look like us. Well, who writes this material? They do. They meet with us, ask us all the right questions, and they target the humor for our audience. I just thought of something. Live is great. But what if we want something to use in the field after the meeting? Yeah. Well, they also do videos and films. They did this one for digital equipment for sales reps to show prospective customers. Hello, I'm Dr. Gilbert Benson, director of the Brookdale Center for Executive Stress, where these poor souls can recuperate and feel good about themselves again. Hiya, Doc. Oh, hello, Maxwell. How are we feeling today? Like a million bucks. I practically forgot why I'm here. <laughs> you recommended the wrong computer system. Cost your company millions, remember? Upon their release, Since buying computer systems on behalf of a large corporation is a highly stressful position, the premise of this film is a rest home for stressed out computer execs. However, we encourage them to adopt a positive civil attitude towards these reps through the use of surrogates. You're not listening to what I'm saying, you idiot! Thank goodness it's working. There's this stressed out but <laughs> really good looking guy named Ted. We see him through a series of flashbacks where we meet the computer company sales reps who put him there. If you win, we win. Anything you think of, we've already thought about it. And if your stuff doesn't work with our strategy, then we'll sell you new stuff that will work. Well, that's good to know. And now you're talking about all those big 
bloated, expensive companies that care about this and that, and don't worry about it, man. Those aren't for you. You want the lean, mean machine like only we can deliver. Uh, but if I have some IBM PCs, you'd be able to service them. For sure. These are the specs on our new open products. Uh, Wayne, uh, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Enter data. <laughs> <laughs> they could do that customer service film we're thinking about. You know what I like about these live shows? It gives us an opportunity to poke some fun at ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Wouldn't it? Like with Rome. They wanted a novel way to kick off their first day. So they did this fictional flashback to the big wigs trying to plan the meeting and come up with a theme. So the actors played the executives. <laughs> We've got to come up with a, for a theme for this year's Rome Club meeting in Miami. Oh, oh, how about three days in a sauna wearing a suit without the one you love? <laughs> That's catchy, Dean, but I'm afraid it no longer applies. Why not? Let's see, there's the CEO of the company, Mitchell Watson. His favorite reaction to everything is, Everyone wow. Everyone lounge around the pool in their shirt sleeves. What? Yeah. What? No suit jackets? That's right. <laughs> You're out of control, Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> Call me impetuous. All right, now, back to the theme. It's got to be something that says how far we've come as a company. Something like, that was then, this is wow. Yes, but wouldn't that make us look like... Like we've got a sense of humor. <laughs> Plus, as you can see, they don't rely on elaborate sets or costumes. They even do conventions live and on video. They did a booth video for Amdahl, this high-tech computer company. It's like an old silent movie. These two goofy-looking Laurel and Hardy types go driving all over looking for the true route to computer perfection. They never even left the studio. The whole thing was done with effects, economically. Think of it. Pro Schneider Foods doing something funny, <laughs> something entertaining, something informative. Why, it'll be great. It'll be exciting. It'll knock their socks off. And it makes good economic sense. So what do you think? Lunch? Can we take the Porsche? My own key to the executive washroom. Oh, sir. My own parking spot? Oh, what an honor. Comedy? Who would have thought? <laughs>